Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to take a quick look at the Imperial Veterans Expansion Pack for the Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures game. Now, I've already covered the TIE Defender and the TIE Bomber, uh, which this particular expansion pack includes, in separate videos. So if you want to learn more about the TIE Defender and the TIE Bomber, go check out my uh, previous videos in this series. I'm not going to go over the maneuvers, obviously, because they're all the same. The stats are the same in regards to attack, agility, and all that, but I do want to show off the models, and I do want to show off the cards. Um, of course it comes with tokens too, but uh, I have them in a baggie that I plan to put in my core set box because I have so many tokens at this point. Though I do plan to put my tractor beam token here in my actual case with the rest of my ships just because I don't have too many of those. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and show you the models. That's the core feature here. Normally I am a blue kind of guy, but uh, I do like a good burgundy color and this combination of black and red is just awesome. So really happy with this particular model and this paint job. And then the TIE Bomber, I don't know how different it is compared to my other TIE Bombers. It just seems like this one's a bit more metallic, if that makes any sense. Like the colors are sharper, um, whereas my other TIE Bombers uh, are a bit more dull in color. Like, I don't know, just the color seems more faded. This one has more silver in it, uh, if that makes any sense. Like this front part seems a little different. This top part seems a little different. But other than that, uh, no special colors besides the extra silver. At least that's what I think is extra about it. All right, so those are the models, and let's go ahead and take a look at the ships. You've got uh, Tomax Bren, Pilot Skill 8, and again, the stats are all the same. Once per round, after you discard an upgrade card, it's elite, uh, flip that card face up, which is kind of cool. Uh, upgrade cards like Crackshot, for example, could be beneficial with this guy. Cost of 24 points. Then you've got Deathfire, who has a pilot skill of only three. When you reveal your maneuver dial, or after you perform an action, you may perform a bomb upgrade card action as a free action, cost of 17. And then you've got two Gamma Squadron veterans here, pilot skill 5, cost of 19. No special abilities. On to the TIE Defender, Merrick Steele. I could have sworn I've seen him before. I think he was in the TIE Advanced uh, expansion. But anyway... Uh, TIE Defender, Merrick Steel, Pilot Skill 7. When your attack deals a face-up damage card to the Defender, instead draw three damage cards, choose one to deal, and discard the other. That is a cost of 35 points. Then you've got the Glaive Squadron Pilot here, Pilot Skill of 6, no special abilities. There's two of them, actually. And then finally, you've got uh, Countess Ryad here. When you reveal a straight maneuver, you may treat it as a K-turn maneuver, which is really cool. Cost of 34 points. All right, and these are just simply your guide cards for tractor beams, bomb tokens, cluster mines, and all of that good jazz. Okay, well, let's go ahead and take a look at the upgrade cards. So there's a few in here that I really seem to like. Crack shot, for example. Um, I've seen this one before, but I'm going to go over again anyway, just because it's relevant to uh, one of the TIE Bombers there. Uh, when attacking a ship inside your firing arc, you may discard this card to cancel one of the defender's evade results. So basically, you discard this card, but again, that one TIE Bomber allows you to flip it back face up at the end of the round. Uh, tractor Beam. Again, I've covered this one before, but it's rare, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and cover it again anyway. Attack value of three... Uh, range 1 to 3, attack 1 ship. If this attack hits, the defender receives one tractor beam token. Then cancel all dice results. It has a cost of 1. Systems officer, Imperial only. After you execute a green maneuver, choose another friendly ship at range 1. That ship may acquire a target lock. That's a cost of 2. That's a crew card. Then you've got cluster mines. I've already covered that in a previous one, so I'm not going to bother doing that. Proximity Mines covered that already too, but it's there. Uh, long Range Scanners. Um, I don't think I've seen this one before. It's a modification. You uh, can acquire target locks on ships at range 3 and beyond. So it's similar to the one uh, Lambda Shuttle title. Uh, the 321, I think it is. But anyway, you cannot acquire target locks on ships at range 1 to 2. So that is somewhat of a limitation there. You can equip this card only if you have Proton Torpedoes and Concussion Missiles in your upgrade bar. Okay, another long range scanners card, so there's two of them. I kind of like this one, the TIE X7. Uh, your upgrade bar loses the heavy cannon and missile upgrade icons. I, I rarely use missiles with these guys anyway, or cannons, because their attack value is already three. But anyway, it's uh, minus two cost, so it's sort of like the chart and refit on the A wings. But after you execute a three, four, or five maneuver, you may assign one evade token to your ship. 
So it's giving up missile and cannon power for a little bit more maneuverability, makes the ship cheaper overall, and, and gives you evade token. That's really cool. I like that. There's two of those. And then there's the Tide D title. Once per round, after you perform an attack with a cannon uh, secondary weapon that costs three or few squad, fewer squad points, like I think the Mangler Cannon, for example, you may perform a primary weapon attack. There's no cost associated with that at all, so there's no reason why you wouldn't want that one. All right, there's two of those, and then you've got the TIE Shuttle for the TIE Bomber only. That's a title. Your upgrade bar loses all Proton Torpedo, Missile, and... Well, not Proton, but uh, Torpedo, Missile, and Bomb Upgrade Icons and gains two Crew Upgrade Icons. You cannot equip an upgrade, a Crew Upgrade card that costs more than four squad points. You couldn't put, like, Emperor Palpatine on this TIE Bomber, for example. All right, that has a cost of zero as well. All right, and that's all there is, uh, all the upgrade cards. i got to say, a uh, really interesting expansion. Looking forward to trying these cards out. If you guys want to see more X-Wing, let me know. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.